The Kind Cup is a medical grade silicone menstrual cup that was made in the USA. All of the materials, the cup, packaging, manual, and pouch were sourced within two hours away from the creator's hometown in California. I'm not gonna go too much into detail about the creator or the company because they shared their own story, which can be found on their website as well as their Kickstarter campaign. I'll leave both of those links in the description below. Speaking of the Kind Cup Kickstarter campaign, it went live on July 28th, 2020. Although the regular sized Kind Cup is already available, they're seeking a little help to launch a smaller size, as well as maybe some colored cups in the future. It was my birthday, the day that the campaign launched, so I went ahead and treated myself and pledged to their cause. If you're interested in learning more about my experience with the regular size Kind Cup, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Before I get started, I want to thank Christine and the Kind Cup team for sending me the regular size to try out and for all the information that you shared. Please remember that this is my experience with this particular cup and your experience might be totally different from mine, so please do not base a purchase off of my review alone. Inserting the Kind Cup. The Kind Cup is an ergonomic cup, which means it was designed for efficiency and comfort. If you came across any of my uh, ergonomic cup reviews, you will have learned that I tend to have some issues with these types of cups and they end up being more work than I want to do while using a menstrual cup. However, the creator brought to my attention that experienced cup users tend to fall back to their existing cup inserting habits, making it harder. I was told to not try so hard and well, it basically worked. There is a pressure point area or a reinforcing spine down the center of the shorter side of the cup. It helps to collapse the cup while folding it, but I also found that it helps to get this cup to pop open after it was inserted. Using the one-handed technique, I tried the C-fold and the insertion point was a little too bulky for my liking. So I tried the punch down fold and that created a much smaller insertion point that I was more comfortable with. Because I use my right pointer finger to fold any of my menstrual cups, the fold ends up being on the top. However, when I introduce the cup into my body, my hand automatically flips the cup upside down where the fold is on the bottom. I like to release the fold while it's on the bottom because it's less likely that I will hit my cervix. However, to use this cup as intended, the shorter side of the cup should be facing upward. To get this cup positioned correctly, I inserted the cup all the way in. I then used a single finger to compress the body and slightly push and rotate the cup to the side. This not only helped the rim to expand all the way, but also spun my cup so that the shorter side was facing upward nearest to my bladder. After the cup was inserted correctly and comfortably, I used a wet cloth to wipe up any excess blood and went on my way. Wearing the Kind Cup. I have to be honest, before I actually had the cup in my hands, I was really worried about the long stem. While long stems are nice for the option to leave it or trim it, it can spell disaster if they are too thin and flimsy. I've had more than one stem break off into my hands and luckily the cup was not inserted at that time. But I'm happy to report that although the stem on the Kind Cup is nice and stretchy and flexible in all directions, they did add an extra bead of silicone where the base of the cup meets the stem. So I can pull on this and feel that it is securely attached and that it is not going to break off. I didn't trim the stem right away. I wanted to keep it fully intact just to make sure that I can reach the cup easily when I needed to remove it. One issue that I had with other ergonomic cups 
is that they tend to be on the shorter side with the exception of the lily cup and a couple chibi cups. Having a shorter cup makes the cup tend to ride up for me and sit higher in the vaginal fornix around my cervix. This makes it difficult for me to remove them because my cervix is already on the medium to high side. Anyhow, after an hour or so, I started to get really irritated from the stem and ended up removing it and trimming the stem down just a bit. I didn't trim the stem completely off just yet. I am probably going to do that during my next period. I will probably leave this larger bead, the very first one after the base of the cup, uh, just so that I have something to pinch my fingers behind while removing it. Other than that, the cup itself, the rim, and the body were a good fit for me and a comfortable medium firmness. Removing the kind cup. So as I mentioned before, I had some issues with the other ergonomic cups because they are shorter, which made it difficult for me to reach. I was surprised that the kind cup didn't ride up like the other cups did. If I inserted my finger, I could feel the base of the cup just past my first knuckle closest to my fingertip. This is one of only probably two cups that are on the shorter side that didn't ride up really high for me. This is the reason why I will be trimming the stem back during my next period. Since the cup didn't ride up any higher, I was able to reach it easily, collapse the pressure point to release any seal that it created, and remove the cup. By the way, the seal that the cup created was very slight, not too strong, but enough that it gave me a bit of resistance when I gently tugged down on it. My overall thoughts on the Kind Cup. I have to admit that I was very skeptical about the Kind Cup because of my previous experience with other ergonomic designs. But a little coaching beforehand from Christine to forget all of my normal inserting habits, I was able to get the kind cup correctly and comfortably positioned without a struggle. My period was light, moderate, and then light again, and I was able to wear it for eight hours on the heavier days and remove it without overflowing. I would like to see how it stood up while I had a heavy period, but for the last year and a half or so, um, with a lot of family stress and some depression, um, my periods have been either spotting very light or non-existent. I am doing better now and my periods seem to be a little bit more regular, so we'll see. I will say that since I normally have a medium high cervix, and I could feel the base of this cup if I inserted just beyond my first knuckle, that if you have a similar cervical height to me, the regular size would probably be a good fit for you. However, if you have a medium to low cervix or a very low cervix, the smaller kind cup would probably be more comfortable. But hey, I could be wrong, so please leave me a comment down below if you have a medium to low or very low cervix and you are able to use the regular size kind cup without any issues. Well, that's all I have for now about the kind cup. If I missed anything or if you have additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Please check out the kind cup campaign on Kickstarter and help them out by making a pledge if you can. Although the Kind Cup isn't the first ergonomically designed menstrual cup, it does have features that I feel actually make it usable. In my opinion, it is the best ergonomically designed cup on the market. And by the way, I am not paid to say good things about this cup or advertise their cup or their campaign. I genuinely feel that it is a good cup. I hope that you're all staying safe and healthy and not just physically but mentally as well and that you continue to be. I've missed all of you in my absence and I'm not actually 100% back yet but I do appreciate all of your PMs, DMs and emails of love and encouragement. Until I see you next time, take care.